Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, November 18th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, but I'm not in my collar and I'm not in Jacksonville. I've flown to Pittsburgh and I have no icons except for the icon of my son's of college apartment that I helped to clean last night. You see, my son's comfort pet, Tinsel, the white cat, if you've been watching these morning devotions from the beginning of the pandemic, you remember her. She died all of a sudden yesterday. We believe it was a heart condition or a blood clot, but my son has had her literally on him every night from for about six to eight years. Um, so I flew up here to be with him and bring her body back home, come him, come take him home a little early for um, Thanksgiving break. So here I am, just a mom today, <laughs> no priestly caller, but I'm here with you to pray. And I know we've all experienced losses and pets can be a, a pretty important part of our lives. So um, I just wanted him not to be alone. And today we begin this last book of the Hebrew scriptures, the last book of the Old Testament, the book of Malachi. And Malachi is a strange um, prophet because he says nothing about himself. And scholars don't know if the word Malachi is even a proper name. They think it comes from Malak, which is messenger or angel. So it says that this Malachi um, and we don't know where he's from or what family he's from or anything or she possibly although women didn't write back then so that would be hard but this messenger comes at the very end of the Hebrew scriptures and um, today opens with uh, this tale of um, God's angry and broken heart because the people are offering sacrifices to God, but they're offering not their best stuff, but their worst stuff. They're thinking, well, let me not bring my beautiful male lamb. Let me bring a one that has a defect or um, a blemish. And let me think that God won't notice. Well, God does notice. And God is very much like a spurned child and says, I know that you're bringing me what is least important to you and I'm angry and you're not going to receive my blessings because you're not blessing me. What an interesting thought that God could be hurt by us or offended by us or angered by us. Of course, in our tradition, we believe Jesus came to show us that God wasn't really angry, but was actually loved us very much and was willing to walk through the worst of life with us and beyond. But still this notion that, that God could love us enough to actually be hurt by us? Would God allow the divine self to be wounded by us? By our carelessness? By our lack of putting God first on our priority list? Certainly the human heart breaks like with the death of little tinsel, the human heart breaks. Does God's heart break when we don't bring God our very best selves, when we make God feel neglected, abandoned, alone? It's an impossible concept to conceive of that the divine would allow God's self to be wounded, but that is a part of love, isn't it? That's a very important part of love. When we love, we risk our hearts. So how could it be that the master of the universe, the creator of everything, would be willing to risk loving us? Unconceiv inconceivable, unfathomable. What kind of love is this? Let us pray. Almighty God, life turns on a dime. And yesterday I found myself dropping all work to fly here and drive Jake home. And I'm grateful to work for a kind and good church that allows me to do that. I thank you 
that we have the courage to love each other, to love our pets, and to love you. But help us to love you more and better as you love us so perfectly, as you always are there for us in ways that we cannot understand. Help us to love you the way you deserve. Bless this nation, Lord. Bless this earth as we battle this coronavirus. Help us to be more careful, more cautious, so that our numbers may go down. Bless those who are ill, those who are dying. Bless those who feel a sense of fear because of finances or the loss of jobs. Be patient with us, Lord, as we learn to love you. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.